What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to the Neighborhood Podcast. What are the hosts of the podcast? My name is Kyle Dabra. So in this video, we're going to recap what took place last night in the AL wildcard elimination game that featured the New York Yankees and the Boston Red Sox. So to recap what happened last night, the Red Sox beat the Yankees by the score of 6-2. With the win, the Red Sox eliminate the Yankees from playoff contention, and the Red Sox will go up against the Tampa Bay Rays in the ALDS later this week. So to kind of dive into this game, I'm going to start with the Red Sox here. The Red Sox got off to a very good start in the first inning of this game. They were able to get a two-run home run from Xander Bogarts in the first inning. And they were able to set a very good tone right from the start. And it put Garrett Cole in a disadvantaged situation. And it looked like Cole wasn't able to shake off that first inning home run well because he gave up another home run to Kyle Schwarber in the third inning. And after that home run that he gave up to Schwarber, he got pulled right after that. So when you're looking at the Red Sox here, they were up 3 nothing early in a winner-take-all elimination game. That's huge, especially being at home because all of the momentum sided with them in the early parts of this game. And not only did their bats show up early, I thought the pitching from Nathan Evaldi was just as good, if not better. Evaldi shut down the Yankees' batting lineup through the first five innings. He had eight strikeouts, and he got through five and a third innings, but he did give up a solo shot to Anthony Rizzo at the start of the sixth inning. And after that home run he gave up, they did pull him. But outside of that home run that he gave up, I thought he did a fantastic job and put Boston in a really good advantageous situation for the rest of the game. Now for the Red Sox, it did get dicey in the sixth inning simply because the Yankees got on a rally after that Rizzo home run. And it looked like that the Yankees were going to possibly tie the game after Stanton just hit a rocket off the monster after Judge got on base before that. But the Red Sox had a really good relay play to get Aaron Judge out at home. They were able to get that second out of the inning, and then they were able to get Gallo out right after that Stanton hit, and it got them out of that dicey situation. That was a situation where they could have potentially given up three runs, but they only gave up the one run off of the Rizzo home run. And then they were able to get some insurance runs in the sixth inning and the seventh inning. And really, it was the insurance runs that they got from Verdugo in the seventh inning that pretty much ended the game, in my opinion. You know, like I said, Ivaldi got off to a great start, and then the relievers came in right after that, and they were just as sensational as he was. They did give up a ninth inning home run to Stanton, but at that point, the game was well out of reach. And listen, they were up 6-1 at that point, giving up the home run to Stanton was 6-2, but the batters for the Yankees didn't do anything after that, and that was pretty much the end of it. You know, and kind of looking at the Red Sox here, just a week and a half ago, the Yankees came into Fenway, and they swept them in three straight games. And I remember that Stanton in particular, he single-handedly took over that series by hitting three home runs and knocking in 10 RBIs for the Yankees. But the Yankee, but the Red Sox weren't faced by that. They rose to the occasion in this game. This is the biggest game of the year, and they passed with flying colors. Give the Red Sox credit. They outplayed New York from beginning to end in this game. The pitching staff was great. Their batters came to play, and that's why they're advancing to the ALDS to go up against the Tampa Bay Rays. They definitely earned this win, and they are definitely going to be an interesting team to look at as they move forward into the ALDS series against the Rays. And to kind of kick it to the Yankees here, their season comes to an unfortunate end. This game, in my opinion, was probably a microcosm for what the entire season felt like for the Yankees. Just pure frustration. The Yankees pitching staff in this game was awful. There's no other way to describe it. Cole gets run out of the game early after allowing two home runs. And his struggles, in my eyes, set the tone for the pitching staff for the rest of the night. It looked like that Cole and all of the relievers were having control issues the entire night. They just couldn't paint the plate well at all. And not only that, the Yankees pitching staff had seven walks in that game. And some of them came on four straight pitches. I believe it was Loiza in particular. He gave up two walks in a row on eight straight pitches. This is the biggest game for New York of the entire year. And their pitching staff came up incredibly short in this game. And that's one of the factors in why they're going home early. The second factor was 
the bats didn't show up for the Yankees in any way, shape, or form. Rizzo, Judge, and Stanton combined to go 5 of 12 from the plate with a home run from Rizzo and Stanton. Those were really the only three players that made any sort of sizable impact from the plate. The rest of the team batted 1 of 20 from the plate in that game. That's utterly atrocious. And it's basically impossible to win any game when over two-thirds of the team couldn't even get a hit. I understand the pitching wasn't great from the Yankees, but the Yankees batters in that game were non-existent outside of Rizzo, Judge, and Stanton. And then the third factor was coaching. And I'm looking specifically at third base coach Phil Nevin. Nevin should have never sent Judge home after Stanton hit that rocket off the monster in the sixth inning. The way that I look at it, if Judge gets held up at third base and doesn't get thrown out at home, the Yankees would have only needed a single from either Joey Gallo or Glaber Torres to tie the game potentially. That decision by Nevin to send Judge home pretty much ended any chance for the Yankees to get back into the game. They could never get the momentum back, and all of the momentum really swung heavily in favor of Boston after that play. It's like I just mentioned. Just a week and a half ago, the Yankees looked unstoppable against Boston in Fenway. But poor play from the pitchers, poor play from the batters, and poor decision-making from the coaching staff is why their season is over. And I'm not really surprised with how it ended for the Yankees. They've been way too inconsistent this season, and it showed up in the biggest moment for them against the Red Sox in this game. And I imagine with the Yankees, there are going to be some major changes moving forward going into next season. I wouldn't be surprised if Aaron Boone is gone after this season. I'd like to think that Kevin has a pretty good pulse on how Yankee fans feel about him. And I think it's fair to say that they've had enough of him at this point. I think some other moves that they could potentially be looking at is possibly upgrading the catcher position because I just don't think Gary Sanchez and Kyle Higashioka look like long-term fixes for that position. And it could be possible that the Yankees try to upgrade their pitching rotation as well, possibly add another ace to go along with Garrett Cole. You know, it definitely looks like the pitching staff could use some work, not only with the starting rotation, but on the back end with the relievers as well. You know, there's definitely a lot of uncertainty for New York going into this offseason. But one thing is for sure. This team needs to continue to build around Aaron Judge and Giancarlo Stanton because they are clearly the best players on this team. But this roster, outside of those two offensively, is just not that good. And I'm probably being nice in that regard. It's just there was too much inconsistency from the hitters on this lineup. And not having DJ LeMayu in this game to go up against the Red Sox, I think it really did hurt them. Because DJ LeMayu is one of their more consistent hitters on this team. But he was out with a sports hernia. And I think his absence really did hurt them in this game. You know, it's unfortunate for the Yankees season to come to an end, but it's like I said, it was kind of expected. They've just been too inconsistent, too up and down, and that's why it's over for them. You know, with this wild card elimination game over, the Red Sox will square off against the Tampa Bay Rays, which looks like an exciting series to look forward to. Tampa had the best record in the AL this past season with a 162 record, and they definitely have World Series aspirations on their mind going into this playoff format and with the Red Sox they're looking to carry this momentum from this win over the Yankees and they're going to look to try to upset the best team in the AL once this ALDS series gets underway and I'm definitely looking forward to it it's going to be a fun series between the Red Sox and the race moving forward but with that said you guys that'll wrap it up from here I just wanted to touch on this AL wild card game real quick and um, if you guys like the video hit that like button below. If you guys want to support the channel in any way, shape, or form, hit that subscribe button below. Any sort of support that we can get for the channel, Kevin and I definitely appreciate it. You know, just once again, thank you guys for tuning in to watch the video, and we will see you guys later.